Two, one, go! 140 racers from both the UP and beyond braved the gusting winds and unseasonably cold temperatures to take part in the 8th annual Grand Marais Triathlon. They like the setting, they like the, you know, the water, they like the, the bike ride out in the uh, national park, and they just say it's a fun event. The event has all the makings of a standard triathlon with swimming, running, and biking legs. But the years of hard work done by event co-chairs Ed and Carla Bowen is now being recognized with a hometown honor. The Upper Peninsula Roadrunners Club voted the Grand Marais Triathlon the best race of 2010. And it's a recognition everybody in the town shares. It's exciting and, you know, it makes you really feel great. But we have so many volunteers in the community. It's, it's a team effort. It really is. It's the whole town helping. Grand Marais welcomes welcomes all of the people that the race brings in. Denny people Paul. like Denny Paul of Sheboygan, who crossed the finish line in just over an hour. There's a lot of really good uh, good athletes here, and uh, it's always an honor to win an event like this. It really fills our town for the Labor Day weekend. All of our motels are full. All the campground is full. All right. Racer Katie Ludlow of Petoskey won the women's race with a time of one hour, 14 minutes. Although it wasn't her first time in first place, she says she still enjoys it just as much. Yeah, it surprises me every time. In, in, in fact, I struggled in the water, so it just was fun. It's fun when you realize you're in first. <laughs> In addition to the men's and women's races, there's also a team category. This year's winners, a father twin son team from Nina, Wisconsin that finished in one hour, six minutes. They've swam age group swimming for years and um, they just started running cross country for middle school. So Carson did the swim and I did the bike and then Brady did the run. I think it's actually quite amazing to see. It feels great. Yeah.